Hey guys, I just got back from an eight day vacation. I just wanted to show you what goes on. The lights just came on. I'm trying to show you the algae buildup. I just had everything set up. I started to clean here and I thought I'd show you. I don't know if you can see the algae. On the 75 gallon, you'll see it. See, I cleaned here where the food is, but over here, you can see what built up on the front of the glass. Everybody looks healthy. Corals look good. I set up an auto feeder just as a precaution once a day for some of my SA slow sinking pellets went in. Uh, most of the time I tested, they floated on the top and some went to the bottom. What I did do is added macro algae from my refugium going away for nine days. Now I know this isn't gonna last nine days, but I put it in here because it won't dissolve and rot. The fish will eat it, and if the fish don't eat it, it's under enough light where it'll grow. It's in this plastic mesh, just like I put my nori in, and I can't put large amounts of nori in here or it'll go bad, and that's completely gone. So now I'm back in the studio taking care of it. All right, guys, so I'm in the Tom Reefer fish room, or the bathroom, and as you can see, I now have a 30 gallon bucket for my water changes. No longer the five gallon Home Depot buckets. I'm about to do the water change on the 75 gallon. Usually I mix up enough water so I can do all the tanks if I do. See, I have a 15 gallon mark. Uh, let's see, 20 gallon mark, 25 and 30. So right now I have about 25 gallons in there. This has been mixing before vacation. So I'm going to try this now. I got this utility pump. What I'm going to do is submerge this in here after I do the water change from the 75 gallon tank. And then I can run the garden hose, which I ran water through for about 10 minutes last night to get anything out that might have been in there. Uh, it's a brand new garden hose and that way I can go from here into my tank without carrying buckets and buckets of water. So much easier. The way I'll control the on off so I don't have to worry about anything is this Casa Smart Plug. So the pump will get plugged into here. I'll have my phone with me and then I'll go in the other room Turn the pump on from the other room. Wait until I fill the 75 gallon back up to the mark and shut the pump off from the smart plug in the other room. Here's the specs of the pump. It's a submersible utility pump by Everbuilt, 1 6th horsepower, 28 gallons a minute. All right, here I am not realizing that I didn't turn the sound on the camera. So that's great. So I'll have to talk you through this section here. What I'm about to do is take some water out of the tank using the five gallon Home Depot bucket. I just didn't want to stick that large pump down in my tank to save a little extra time. All right, here I'm doing old school siphon out of the tank into the five gallon bucket. It goes out quite quick. So that's what I'm doing here. Unknowing that the sound is off and I'm talking away as I'm doing it. All right, so you can see what I got here. Here's the green hose. It's all hooked up in the pump inside the garbage can in the other room. There's my smart plug on my phone. And there I'm going to turn it on. And there it goes. Now, 28 gallons a minute would be uh, really close head pressure to the pump itself. Right there, what I'm doing is not bad at all. See, it's not really going too hard. It's actually going just right. Now, obviously, guys, that's salt water coming in, and I'm just kind of goofing off there with it on the coral sea, and I'm just showing you there it's green for on, and I think I give it a turn off just to test. Let's see. 